Creating a New Earth Paradigm. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 174. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 174, July 24th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the Honesty and Integrity lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects, to all learning levels, in any learning environment using the central theme of honesty and integrity is now 25% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% of the written part of the honesty and integrity lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the information lesson plan, bringing it to 25% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. As part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, this week naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, recalculated and made a significant number of changes, shown in green, to the nutrition calculations he created which will be added to our website this week. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on finishing and stabilizing the end of the stucco with a waterproof barrier and providing a method of securing a flashing backsplash below the end of the stucco to help prevent moisture damage to the structure. We then entered the new information into the narrative in a step-by-step -step description. We'd say we are now 91% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. The core team also reformatted and updated the complete Highest Good Housing open source hub and the first four village pages. This reformatting included adding new residents and social space details, additional imagery from the design process of each village, an index to the top of each page, what and why sections to each page, as well as new resources and resource sections. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, also continued working on creating professional, do-it-yourself, earth bag village Murphy bed furniture assembly instructions. What you see here is week 9 of this process, with this week's focus being further development of single-page cutting instructions. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here are two new layouts for the studio living spaces, redesigned to better reflect the sustainability and recreational values of the people who will be living here. And Dean Scholes, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. 
Here is update 28 of his work that focused on additional and new shade structure for the roof and beginning the rooftop grill designs. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his six week of Photoshop work on the renders for the shipping container village, Pod 5. Here you see the final renders of the front perspective, first floor circulation area, computer room, library, rental room looking in, outdoor meeting and relaxation area, north side recreation and dining area, and a north side circulation space. In addition to this, Bupesh Sithala, interior designer, created the second version of multiple renders for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6, including additions to two perspectives for the game room, one for the gym, three for the music room, and one for the yoga room. He also finalized these images looking in and out for the art room, this one looking out for the gym, these two looking in and out for the library and computer room, and this one for the recreation and social space. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued developing the Duplical City Center in 3D. What you see here are changes made to the dry storage in the dining dome that include the redesigning of the glass sliding doors and walls. We also set the height of the basement to 8 feet, adjusted the driveway to the cellar to 20%, and we placed the storage shelves and containers in the cellar area. Additionally, we worked on the natural pool and spa area where we changed the green screen from a trellis to in-ground bamboo. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving and overhead lighting options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round 12 of this work now focusing on researching and trying different art options for the center of the pipe furniture wall. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of architecture, also produced the root cellar driveway details and beginnings of a project brief you see here. The project brief will form the city center plans page when complete. And Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued her work on the lighting zones, lumens, and number of lamps needed spreadsheet you see here. This week's focus was on further defining the zones and adding details related to minimum lumens and percentage reductions possible for each zone. Hayes Lay, structural engineering student, also worked on the live load calculations for the city center dining dome beams. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team recolored two complete sets of 28 highest good housing icons. These were to match the color palettes we're developing to color coordinate the village interior and exterior color plans with the website and all promotional materials. Also this week, we updated the Straw Bale Village color board and icon to align with the new icons and existing renders. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, additionally continued her work developing the new website structure we desire for easier and more graphic access to all the One Community open source content. What you see here is week two of her work focusing on more details and functionality of the homepage. One Community believes it's time for creating a new earth paradigm focused on sustainability and living and creating for the highest good of all. Our way of facilitating that is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. We've identified the foundations of highest good living as the physical foundations of food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations of highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability to create a way of living that we feel that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. If we combine all these things into a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, and hub, we know that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough, then this idea will spread on its own. And this is our way of creating a new earth paradigm. It's through what we call solution models, purpose to create additional solution creating models. What that means is the teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, all open source and do-it-yourself replicable, are purpose specifically to share the experience of living within this environment and teach people how to replicate it anywhere in the world. 
creating a self-replicating model spread across the world and if it replicates itself if each teacher demonstration hub is capable of generating two teacher demonstration hubs of its own of inspiring two teacher demonstration hubs of its own in the following year we have the potential to transform our entire world into a plan that truly truly works for everybody within one generation does this mean that everybody will participate of course not what it means is that we can spread sustainability globally and positively and permanently impact the lives of every single living creature on this planet just by the people who do want to participate and it would have the reach to address the challenges of our generation and generations to come for everyone simultaneously. And we're doing this because we see these challenges as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so our idea of creating a new earth paradigm is to create this self-replicating model, make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate its attractiveness that it will spread on its own. And for, for the first time in the history of humanity, create a world that works for everyone. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if it's something you'd like to participate in, we have lots of different ways to do that. The easiest way, of course, is through sharing our information through social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Sue. We are on Twitter. We are on all the different social media networks, about 15 additional social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Of course, we are also still seeking large-scale funding. So if you or somebody you know is invested in the idea of creating a new earth paradigm, would like to invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are a 100% volunteer and unpaid organization. So every donation, the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $20 donations, and donations larger than that all go 100% towards forwarding our open source creative mission for global transformation, for creating this new earth paradigm. And so if this sounds interesting to you or something that you or somebody you know has the resources to help with large-scale funding, we're still seeking that large-scale funding to help us get the property off the market so we can share that location. And we take this whole idea of creating a new earth paradigm to the next level by open sourcing all the specifics and details that are really only possible once we have the property. We can do a site survey and things like that. In the meantime, our focus is in becoming shovel ready. So once we have people on the property that we're, or once we have the property off the market, we can immediately start building and going to all those next level open source processes and developmental details. So we can start building as quickly as possible. This is what one community is doing. We're bringing together people to consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it's not only possible, that it's, but it, that it is a good idea to create a new earth paradigm focused on sustainability focused on living and creating for the highest good of all and building the model to make that available to everyone. Open sourcing it so that the diversity of different ideas of what the highest good of all means can be addressed through adaptations and different versions of what it is that we're creating and working tirelessly to create it as quickly as possible. So as always, I'd like to say thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations. Thank you for the emails. Every email that's sent to us is read and addressed. Uh, thank you for everybody that shares their information on social media. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and specifics that we've talked about in this update, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Thanks for following our progress and until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.